Former Harrison College students are still searching for answers. That's after the school abruptly closed on Sunday. News 10 Sarah Lehman has been out asking questions for you and for the students. She joins us now live in the newsroom to explain what new information she found. Patrice, this morning we found out that Harrison College had updated its website, giving answers to students about things like transcripts, student loans, and transfer schools. But there are still a lot of questions left unanswered, like how the colleges leaving are affecting the communities they were in. Harrison College has 11 campuses in three different states. One of those is here in Terre Haute. After the abrupt closing Sunday, many students were left with a lot of unanswered questions. I'm trying to find answers. Somebody is going to hear our voice and somebody is going to answer us. Terre Haute is known as a college town, home to five places of higher education, counting Harrison College. We knew that they were filling a, an important role in our community, so it is sad to see them go. Chamber President David Haynes says he's proud of the area's other colleges. Some of our other higher education institutions have stepped up to fill that void, uh, to reach out to students who find themselves without a school. How is this college leaving affecting Terre Haute's economy? Haynes says Terre Haute has always had employers that need people in a community that's continuing to grow. We're not going to lose step on that. Uh, that'll still be something that we talk about and that other entities in, this, in, in the community are working toward, uh, and I don't think we'll be derailed whatsoever. And he says... We're losing a, a, a for-profit uh, higher education uh, opportunity, but we've got others that are stepping up to the plate, and in the end... Uh, it'll be business as usual in Terre Haute. Now we did reach out to Harrison College again today, but we haven't had any replies or any answers to our questions. News 10 is going to continue to search for answers to all of your questions. But for more information, you can go to our website. That's WTHITV.com. For now, live in the newsroom, Sarah Lehman, News 10, back to you.